Groundbreaking innovations to powered wheelchairs designed by scientists at the University of Portsmouth have been shortlisted for two prestigious International Engineering Awards. The inventions have transformed the lives of thousands of wheelchair users, making powered wheelchairs easier to drive and steer. I went to the university to find out more. This intelligent wheelchair uses front and rear sensors to detect when an obstacle is in its path. A wall, perhaps, or a person. You can see just here, in the silver box, and in here, this is a rotating ultrasonic sensor. It's the main sensor we use to just detect everything that's out there ahead of the wheelchair. Having sensed the obstacle, the wheelchair can then be programmed to avoid it, navigate around it, or simply come to a stop. But more importantly, it can respond to what users want and need. If, for example, you've got a wheelchair that can avoid obstacles. But what happens if the person wants to switch a light on? It's infuriating if the wheelchair is stopping you from getting to the light switch. So the whole idea of having the human being and us trying to create systems that are assistive, that assist the person in doing whatever they want to do, that's a whole lot more complex and more interesting problem. An important thing is that you let people crash now and again. If you can do it safely, all the better. But of course, when you and I were learning, we learnt that if we fall flat on our face, it hurts. These guys have got to learn if they go into a wall, then there is a cause and effect. But the technology goes even further. It can be easily adjusted to meet different users' needs, or even be programmed to change throughout the day as a user's alertness fluctuates. Now, this device can set various uh, modes and ranges within it. And so we can vary the range of the sensors, how far it's, uh, it's looking, and we can vary the mode it's in. So what does it do? So, for example, when it comes to an obstacle, does it just avoid it? Does it just stop? Does it reverse and try alternate routes? Uh, so we've got those various options built into the system, so that depending on the person and actually the state of the person during the day, how well they're doing at any particular time, can adjust, firstly, the range of things. So if they need a lot of help, you can have the range out to quite a distance. If they're doing really well, you can bring the range in to fairly close distance and let them do most of the driving. And what our systems will do is make them less tired because they don't have to worry so much about hitting things, about where they're going, about doing damage, and that allows them to relax in their driving. And so the, the systems will assist them in doing their job. The technology has been taken up in special schools and institutions, including by the RNIB and NHS. It can be life-changing for people with all different types of disability, some of whom have never been able to move by themselves before. So what we try and do is take people who have never been able to use a powered wheelchair before and get them into a powered wheelchair and using it. Now this has all sorts of fantastic effects. First of all, of course, there is an economic effect. If you can reduce the need for carers, then you're freeing up carers for other things and you're doing things more efficiently and bluntly saving money at one end of it. But you can also increase the quality of life and give people a much more fulfilling, satisfying, happier life if they can take more control over what they're doing themselves. And sometimes when you put kids into these powered wheelchair systems for the first time, it's the first time they've actually been able to initiate their own movement and move about. And some of those effects can be quite dramatic and life-changing for some kids. And the seeing the look on kids' faces as they firstly, they've initiated their movement, they've got to a place, and then when they get there, they find they can do all these fantastic things. Yeah, fantastic. The uh, feeling is wonderful. One of the most exciting things about this technology is how cheap it is, which is crucial as wheelchairs can already cost thousands of pounds. The real feeling of success we've had from this is producing stuff that was so simple and so cheap but still did a very complicated job such that these people could buy it. Well, the great thing about them is they can fit to just about any powered wheelchair and they're affordable. This research has been shortlisted for one of the most prestigious engineering innovation awards. Out of 300 nominations from around the world, the team have made it into the top five. 
but they're up against some stiff competition from huge players in the field. We're a little bit nervous and scared about it because we've seen the competition. Um, we're up against um, Williams Racing Team, we're up against Heathrow Airport, uh, we're up against some real big blue chip serious companies who've um, done an awful lot with an awful lot of money and the systems they've produced are pretty fantastic. So we're a little bit nervous going into it that uh, we're producing some very cheap, very small, very simple stuff, but still doing some pretty complicated and uh, wonderful things with it. The winners of the awards will be revealed next month, but over the years to come, this technology will be changing the lives of hundreds of people with disabilities. Charlotte Brewer-Redney, that's Solent.